All right, today I want to show you how to connect two computers together and remotely control a computer uh, using another computer. So there's this program that I use called, it's in your internet settings, and it's called Remote Desktop Viewer. I also have this Remina program, but I really prefer this program here, Remote Desktop Viewer. So what it does is it goes to this window here and um, you go connect and uh, I select it used to now it has different types of connections depending on your preference I prefer to get a graphical connection to be able to control another computer the VNC connection so I go find and I want to use this computer here on my network and um, I'm gonna select scaling so I can keep the aspect ratio and I'm just gonna pretty much just keep that so we'll select that and enter in the password. So here's my computer that's right behind me here, uh, running in the background, running in a remote desktop viewer. <clears throat> I have uh, Kaden Live running in the background. Now I can full screen this. So it's full screened. So basically I'm in this computer's environment. Uh, I can run my video editing program, uh, Kaden Live. <clears throat> I can go in the background. I can go into the uh, the file system and move files around, move files around the network, or stream files to another computer. This is great for RS if you have a network computer. Um, here I have VLC in the background. There's the back of my head. I guess I'm kind of creeping on the back of my head here. Um, so we can move that window a little bit. It is a little bit slower than like if you had to have a direct connection, but there I am here. It's, uh, it's not the quickest uh, video for full motion. You wouldn't want to stream a video this way, but uh, it's uh, something that um, it's possible uh, for say if you want if you have have a baby's webcam and uh, you know if your kids uh, you want to set up your laptop and watch them while they're sleeping, make uh, see when they wake up. You can use something like this. I've used this when I've had friends over and the kids are downstairs and we watch the kids upstairs. I'm a bit of, I see the back of my head and I have a bit of a cow lick. I always wake up in the morning with cow licks. So yeah, the pop possibilities of, of applications that you can do through remotely controlling this is that really there's a lot of applications. Sometimes if you want to fix a computer uh, and you're in a different part and you're in a different part of your house. Yeah, or you're at your desk and you have a computer like a media computer and you don't want to be sitting at your TV you know, standing trying to configure it you can actually just do use this program and configure it where you're uh, setting it up so it's a great little program I'm gonna uh, and just I just hit F, F11 to full screen it so now I'm back into my my regular machine and there's the uh, there's the uh, uh, extra computer running in the background so I'll do a disconnect And All right, get to get the there. program, you just go into where your software manager, this thing, little icon here, and your Linux Mint setup. Ubuntu has the same thing as well. So the program is actually called Vinit, Vin Urge. I always just call it Remote Desktop Viewer because that's, but it has different uh, names for the program. I have this Remina program as well, but I really prefer this one. It's one of my first things I'll install when I install Linux on a computer. Uh, remote client for the GNOME desktop. It's nothing super fancy, and it doesn't need to be super fancy. It just needs to be able to work and allow me to log into my other computer. And uh, so this, so you go in here, and here it, I've already have it installed. But if you went to your remote uh, or you went to your software manager, you just go install. You can also remove or launch it from here uh, as well if you have it. On your system so that's where you would go to install it now to be able to get for example this computer or this computer uh, so that you can um, use it so that you can connect to it it just doesn't do it automatically you do, you do need to configure your settings so so I found out with Linux Mint 19 um, it was a good gnome issue they've taken it out of this version it's in my older version which some I'm starting to like my older version a lot better than my newer version so anyway one of the forums recommends installing this 
here we are here. I hope I don't have to do a whole lot of configuring to this. Like I like the old version of uh, Linux Mint where I just it just was there and it worked. So we're installing this. All right, in the old version of uh, of Linux Mint 18, uh, 18, you just go into your preference, you'd find desktop sharing and you would select that. And then you, this is the way I had my settings. I just had allow others to view your desktop uh, and I allow others. This is all it was, it was very simple. But apparently since they've redone Linux Mint 19, it's not on the computer that I'm using right now, but it's on my older computer. So there is, ways of getting around I it. I found this one program, 11, oh, was, yeah, VNC, this VNC server program, but I wasn't able to allow it to connect. Um, yeah, it shows, so it should be VNC server, but I just couldn't see it on the, uh, on my setup. Now this might be, this is what people are recommending on the forums to use to, um, make that fix for Linux Mint uh, 19, but I really wish Linux Mint 19 would have a fix and be able to put the de the original desktop viewer because this thing I still haven't gotten it to work, but I'm still able to remotely connect to my other computers. Um, so uh, I'll tinker around with this some more, I guess, but this, I don't have time today. I was just trying to do a video that about desktop, remote desktop viewer. That's the program that I do enjoy using. Um, but I, I might just simply go back to Linux Mint 18 because I really like the as ease. Now I'll try to figure this out, but I really just don't have the time. Like I've tried it around for about an hour and I still haven't gotten it to work. So I might just end up reinstalling my system just to go back to Linux Mint 18, which, uh, is a possibility, but I'll probably figure it out. Maybe somebody in the forums can, uh, show me how to set this up or point me in the right direction. Well, for now, I'll just leave it because it's just... I'm not going to bother uh, reinstalling on my laptop here that I'm using. I'm not going to really bother installing right away, but it probably will eventually. I'm just going to reinstall uh, and go back to Linux Mint 8, unless I can figure out a way to remote into this. But on the other side, I don't necessarily, this uh, this computer I'm doing this is my carry-on laptop, so usually I carry it on with me. It's The big thing I would like with this one behind me is that uh, at night sometimes I just want to turn it off and um, uh, yeah, I turn it off. Just, you know, I don't want to go back downstairs and turn off the computer. So I just end up uh, um, going into remote desktop viewer and and install it. Now, one thing I did notice is uh, when I installed the uh, uh, X11 VNC, what was the name of that program? It's in my internet files. This X11 VNC server, be aware, it did uninstall my um, remote desktop viewer. So... It basically, it's hard to set up, and the, it took out the easy to set up program. I tried out this other KD, uh, this other remote desktop viewer. It did work. Uh, this KDRC, it's a Kden remote desktop client. That's another program you can try too. I think there's a few different programs that you can try out too that um, uh, you can play around with your remote desktop viewer as well. So I'll definitely check that out. Uh, this is how I configured it here. I just you know, give the uh, the one nine. You have to enter in manually the one nine two address to the computer. So on the computer that you're going on, just go into the command line and do an if config, and it will uh, tell you your uh, web. Uh, your you'll you'll find your one nine two address in there. Should do that. There. There. Game finished. 